What we saw in the election in terms of Russian interference was really just part of a much broader campaign to undermine democracy. And in part, they're doing that by undermining faith and confidence in democratic institutions. So what I started to think about is what other institutions besides elections are as dependent on public faith and confidence in the legitimacy of their outcomes to have any meaning in our democracy. And of course, I immediately thought of the justice system. The four key narrative messages, or what we call frames, that Russia uses in its attacks against the justice system are, one, that the justice system supports immigrants over Americans, protects immigrants. The second is that the justice system perpetuates and enables the racist police state. The third is that the justice system facilitates, enables, and empowers corrupt corporations. And the fourth is that the justice system is a tool of the political elite. All of these are designed to say that the justice system is not independent or impartial. There are lots of legitimate criticisms of the justice system, and Russia exploits legitimate grievances. What's really important to keep in mind is that while judicial reform activists in this country are working to make our system better, to make us stronger, that is not Putin's goal. Putin's goal is to make us weaker. Among the things that we need to do to counter this Russian disinformation campaign against democracy is to build public and institutional resilience against that kind of messaging. That means promoting civics education and civic engagement. We need to remember that democracy is not inevitable, that we can't be complacent, that we need to all understand how important it is and how important it is to work to preserve it. Thank you.